Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84. And today, as far as the tropicals and subtropicals are concerned, it's D-Day. Uh, now I'm filming this on the uh, Sunday the 4th of December, and I assume I'm going to be able to put the video out today. Uh, I'm outside, as you can see, I'm wrapped up in several layers. It's currently 6 degrees centigrade, about 42 degrees Fahrenheit. <clears throat> and because Sunday's my only day off work anyway, um, I've, my hand has been forced in regards to bringing my subtropicals and tropicals indoors or making space for them somehow or other. It's going to be quite a jigsaw, uh, but it doesn't stop at that. I'm going to put the citrus uh, away as well. I'm quite happy leaving them outside down to temperatures of around freezing. But looking at the weather app for my area, uh, long-term weather app for this week, there we're looking at temperatures on Friday, Thursday or Friday, possibly down to minus three centigrade at night, about 26 Fahrenheit, and that would cause serious devastation to any tropicals that I've left outside and actually could be harmful to the citrus as well although it wouldn't necessarily kill them it can cause long-term damage to the uh, to the shoots and leaves and there's no point in exposing them to that level of cold without sun protection now the summer house is not heated of course but it will give two or three degrees centigrade probably extra protection to the citrus and they won't get that sort of wet frost on them as well which can be very harmful so they should be okay in there but my subtropicals and tropical tropicals will have to go inside of course and I've got to get the whole lot done today uh, which means checking the plants over spraying them if necessary uh, trying to make room for them inside and what I'll do is flip the camera around in a minute so you'll see <laughs> the magnitude of the task ahead of me because of course some of the plants have grown uh, a fair bit this year um, not all of them, some haven't done well at all, but quite a lot of them have grown and I've had to move some into bigger pots, which is going to cause me a problem as well. So it, the key is how to organise them in the in the kitchen, and I'll put a few in my front, sort of I have a front dining room that obviously isn't used very often. I should be able to get two or three larger ones like the guavas in there, but the key will be how to get them into the uh, into the house and still be able to move, so it's not going to be easy, but I'll, um, I'll show various stages uh, during the video. So if you've watched my channel for a long time, i.e. two or three years, you will be very familiar with the problem I have each winter, which is getting worse as the plants get bigger, and I'll probably have to get rid of a, a couple of plants soon, because I haven't got any other magic answers. All of these plants that are still remaining out here, including several that I've put into the summer house temporarily of the proper tropicals have somehow or other got to fit into here which as you can see already looks full um, now I've still got in the summer house I've got uh, white sapote, rose apple, um, jambalan what else is in there? there's certainly another three or four plants are going to have to come into the house somehow or other and you can see I'm running into serious problems already it's all getting a bit ridiculous um, short sure, winning the lottery and buying a house with a giant greenhouse or conservatory um, some of these plants may well have to uh, depart somewhere or other uh, next, by next season but we'll see what happens I'm going to pull these all out Whoops and try and reorganize them um, they can only go so far back into the kitchen because obviously they do need some light um, so I'm not quite sure how we're going to do this but I will do a short video at the end of the day when I've uh, hopefully reorganized things a little bit better and maybe managed to um, get more plants in and I'm also going to treat them all with a fungus gnat solution today which I may have time to cover in a separate video but we'll see how the day goes so I'll come back to you later in the day with a video so I'm going to finish filming now because as you can see 
we're losing the natural light so I can at least give you some idea of what I've managed to squeeze in so far but unfortunately this isn't all the plants so if I just uh, walk round outside I have to film now because it'll be too dark in about half an hour's time so I'm just going to quickly show you what it looks like from the outside and how we're getting on but we do still have unfortunately plants to get in including my gigantic cherimoyas so I think I'll definitely be trying to sell one of these because I've got uh, I can't get three in there any longer so one will have to go I don't need three anyway I mean they're about 10 years old now so somebody's going to get a plant when I sell it that's going to save them an awful lot of time but in any case they're uh, I've got a fair number in and done most of my spraying and treatment for them so we'll obviously have to uh, see what else can be squeezed in anyway thanks for watching much appreciate it please give me a thumbs up obviously subscribe to my channel you can share the video if you think anybody might be interested so you've got some on here still to move and remember to click on the bell if you like updates on videos as they come out including how these hold up over the winter i'll catch up with you all soon brett out for now